Hey guys, this is Ricky Lundell from rickylundell.com. Today, I want to take you guys through what is being called the greatest jiu-jitsu match of all time, and I want to look at a, at a game-changing mistake that people make in matches, and we want to correct those things. Now, right now, this video is getting thousands and thousands and thousands of hits. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody's looking at it. They're excited about it, but I want to tell you what I see from a coach's standpoint, something that I look at and makes me think that everybody can work to get better. It makes me realize that everybody out there, regardless of their level, makes mistakes that can alter the whole game. Right now, if you haven't watched the match, Vieira is up on points, okay? He's up by one point. One point is all it takes to win the match. Almeida is down, which means he has to pass his guard in order to win this match. Now, let's let's take a look at what goes on here. He breaks the grip, breaks another grip. The man on bottom stands up. Now, let's stop it right here and let's take a look at what's going on. As he stood up, backed up, he is no longer looking at his opponent right here. In fact, his eyes are gazing this direction over here. And he's checking the scoreboard and the clock. Because of that, he is not ready to react to what's coming for him now. Now, if you look, changes level, hits a shot, no sprawl, nothing. Why? Not because he's not capable, not because he doesn't know what's going on. He's at the highest level of BJJ right now. He is fighting at the highest level. And here, he lets somebody in and bam, altering points right now. Um, I'm always talking about toes so that we can follow stuff up, but that's not the big thing that's happened here. We had somebody looking away. Now he is still looking over here and checking the scorecards, you know, checking what's going on in the match, okay? And we can't make those. Now, this doesn't just happen with these guys. I'm going to take you back in time right now, okay? As we go back in time, let's look at this match. Here's Marcelo Garcia and Mike Van Arsdale. Now, I want you to watch... Mike Van Arsdale. So far, Mike's been on top. He's been controlling Marcelo's position. He's been kind of, you know, Marcelo hasn't been able to get a good offense off, but I want you to watch what happens right here when I click play. Bam! Mike is looking over here. He's looking at a coach or he's looking at time. He's looking at something. He looks away, takes his mind off the match for one second, and watch what Marcelo does. Boom! He's coming around the back. Crucial, crucial mistake. There is no question about it. That is a mistake. Anybody, regardless of skill level, needs to listen to their coaches. Your coach needs to be telling you what's going on in the match, and you need to have faith in him. You can't be looking yourself. You can't be checking the clock because you're taking your mind off it. Now let's go forward one more time. Here we are. We're going back to this match with Almeida and Vieira. I press play. Bink. He breaks the grips. Boom. Boom. Now we're moving. He stands up. Watch him. He looks away. Boom. Takedown. That right there was the deciding factor in the match. As time goes forward in this match, I'm going to take you forward just a little bit. There's the scoreboard now. He just went up by one point. And he's going to win this match in 53 seconds. Okay, guys, that right there is a huge tip this week on our coach's corner. When you're training, try not to look at the clock. When you're training, try to focus on what's going on in the match. You need to remember those things. That way, something like this doesn't happen to you. Okay? I don't know if he would have got in or not had he not have looked away. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to this week's Coach's Corner. I'll see you guys next week.